Okay, so you guys are gonna see me starting and ending the vlog in this little turtleneck sweater. Definitely not appropriate for the weather that we're experiencing in New York City, but welcome to the vlog, you guys. I basically started the vlog off when I was outside of Ralph's and it was way too loud. I was literally whispering and I was editing the footage just now and I was like, you cannot hear me at all whatsoever. So welcome back to the vlog, you guys. I'm just gonna start it off here. Basically, I went to meet Bella for the first time on Sunday at Ralph's and we just got our coffees. We were shooting content and then you'll see the next clip is me talking to you guys after that. But it was a stunning day and I actually just went again today to shoot up there and it's just beautiful. And so I'm really glad that I can bring you guys along there. So make sure you're subscribed. I would absolutely love to have you. My name is Jenna and I do a ton of fashion and lifestyle videos. I live in New York City, I'm 27 years old and we're just going out and about in New York and I'm filming everything for you guys. In addition to showing you my obsession for fashion and outfits and all that fun stuff. So now we'll cut into the actual footage of today's vlog. Okay guys, it's been a little while since I was at Ralph's. We just, we only, okay, sorry, I'm adjusting. We only did two outfits, but we were just like talking and catching up. Obviously we hadn't met each other before, so there was a lot to talk about. So we've been talking like this entire time and I didn't grab the camera. So you guys will meet Bella, I think sometime this week, cause we're gonna shoot again with Sammy up here before work. But I just wanted to show you this street. We're on 68th and Park and it's stunning. Like can, I don't even know if it's picking up the light really well, but there are the most beautiful buildings up here. And I actually just shot in front of that like brick one that's right over there. And then this whole entire like look at these planters. Probably we'll take pictures in front of this next week, but I need to plan my outfits better. I was a mess today. But anyway, I'm gonna head home now. There's a lot of people up here for the parade. So it's a little bit more crowded and obviously during the week it'll be like super quiet, but it's just stunning over here. And I wanna come to the Upper East Side so much more now that it's like warmer out before work just to take outfit pictures because I feel like it's a really nice change of pace. Like how gorgeous, I can't stand it. Um, but I'm gonna head home, I'm taking the subway and I'll talk to you guys when I'm there. I think I have some stuff that came in the mail. Oh, including this dress that I need to show you guys. We are back from my lovely morning that I had on the Upper East Side. So my boyfriend left this morning, I got ready. The time kind of crept up on me, which was not fun, but I went and met Bella, we went to Ralph's and then we shot a couple of outfits. So I only brought two because I was incredibly unprepared, but I think we're going up there one morning this week with Sammy to shoot again on the Upper East Side. It's stunning up there. I always say to try to dedicate at least maybe like a couple hours in the morning to be on the Upper East Side because it's so nice even if you just take the subway up there if you're staying downtown to grab coffee and just really enjoy because it's completely different from Soho and all of those super popular areas. I always say Soho, West Village, and Upper East Side are like my favorite areas and I think that they're so different. So if you're coming to visit New York, then I think it would be great to kind of do all three. Um, obviously Times Square, if you, it's your absolute first time in New York City, but I just s tend to stay away from that area. But anyway, I'm back. I have some chicken shumai from Trader Joe's that's um, currently cooking. I wanted to have grilled cheese, but my cheese was moldy, so I couldn't make one of those. That was a little bit disappointing. I don't know why I'm craving like a cozy meal, like something warm and like hearty. Um, because it's like 80 degrees outside. So I should be like, you know, wanting ice cream or something, but for some reason I just want like a really hot, like savory meal. So I have that cooking and while that's going, I'm gonna show you guys some of the pieces that I got in yesterday. So we had a really nice time yesterday. We went to a rooftop party, it was stunning. I'm hoping that I got tan, but I'm looking like super pale, so I don't think that happened. I will probably tan next weekend when I'm home, but really good vibes, everyone's in a fantastic mood and we got to see people that we haven't seen in a while, so that was wonderful. I also got to have Nolita pizza, which is my absolute favorite, and it was just a really great day, but we got back and we were so exhausted. I think we passed out at like 11, which kind of sounds a little bit late, but not for like a going out day, but these packages came, so I didn't have time to show you guys, but now that we are in a brand new vlog, we have to include some unboxings. So the first package that I got was from Reformation and I'll insert a picture of what this dress looks like on because I came home and straight away put on these comfy clothes from Brunette the Label. It's just like a little hoodie and a matching 
sweat shorts, which are like my favorite things for this weather because it's like warm and I want to be cozy, but at the same time I don't want to sweat. So the shorts are perfect. But anyway, Reformation dress. I'm not proud of it, but I bought this because I saw it in an Instagram ad and I completely fell in love with it. It does come in a bunch of different colors too, so if this pattern isn't your vibe, then there are lots of other options, but she's stunning. It's a linen dress and they, like the dresses range from, I think around like 78 maybe, if not the 98 is the cheapest, and then it goes up to like $250 or something like that. And this one was 98 so was it a lot of money to spend on a dress? Yes, but I fell in love with the pattern and the shape of it, and it's this cute little like striped detail, and then the straps you can kind of adjust, and they tie down at the back there. So really, really pretty cut. I didn't try this on before I ripped the tags off, so that was stupid because <laughs> it's borderline tight on my chest here i it definitely works it just fits i would say so obviously i'm not gonna have an issue with wearing it but it's just a stunning piece maybe i would get their dresses in a small moving forward but it's really really pretty the length is perfect i have heard of some people complaining about the fact that the dresses are too long if you're on the shorter side so just to keep that in mind like my friend olivia had to get hers tailored um it's a stunning dress though so i mean Maybe it's worth it, but just to keep in mind that some of them are a little bit longer than you would imagine. Um, and then we have a package from Rumor. I got this stinking cute, and obviously we have a theme here with the linen dresses, but this adorable double lined, I don't know what I just did with this around my head, but double lined linen dress. I only had colored underwear left over. Like I need to go and bring my laundry. So I didn't even have like tan undergarments to wear. You could not see through. So two layers, really, really nice and lightweight. The fit of this is perfect. It kind of goes in on your waist a little bit and it's just stunning. So really, really cute. Also these ties are what sold me on it. My friend dropped this collection and I was like, I need to get at least three things and I ended up being good and I only got two so this was the first dress and it kind of has these little like darts on the front too which is really cute and a nice detail I felt so expensive in this dress let me tell you when I was on the Upper East Side these two alone these are the two that I shot today but I just felt very put together and clean and kind of like old money style when I was wearing those outfits and then the second thing that I got from rumored is this knit navy dress and I've been wanting to add in some more navy into my wardrobe just because I feel like it's another neutral color and it looks super nice and I feel like it's a very clean look so I grabbed this one it's a knit dress you can see that it's this like ribbed material and I just thought that this would be a really easy like throw on dress I feel like I don't have enough of those and obviously as you can see I have gone a little bit crazy I think I bought all this stuff within one day and I was like I need to chill <laughs> um, but I kind of like find gaps in my wardrobe and fill them in that sense so I'm really excited about all of these things and cannot wait to keep wearing them throughout this warmer weather and I feel like they arrived just in time because it's getting scorching hot in New York so I'm gonna have some lunch and then I will chat to you guys in a little bit so if you guys saw my vlog a couple I think it was like a few videos ago and I was complaining about how full our freezer was and so we took everything out of the boxes so that we could fit things and now I can't find the dressing for these little cuties so I think I'm just gonna use I think I have um like teriyaki sauce I don't know if that's disgusting like that's probably gonna be gross but I have this stir fry sauce I feel like this is the only thing in here that's gonna work and I don't want to eat them plain so I guess we're gonna have that I also need to do the dishes reality of having a small sink and no Dishwasher is that it's completely filled and we had to put some glasses on the side there, but our freezer is looking fantastic There's so much room in here, but I do have to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow morning So this will probably fill back up But we've done a great job of trying to finish some of the food from when it was like so overcrowded that it basically wouldn't shut Okay, so I've done a bunch since I last spoke to you. I did the dishes filmed a princess Polly haul tidied up my room a little bit um, I also tidied up the living room because I just had a couple of things out from when I was in here earlier and what else I feel like there was one more thing but I think that's it I'm not dressed to go to the gym because I have a weird thing where I like to go to the gym on Sundays because I feel like I'm starting the week off on a good note and especially if I'm not really doing anything that I would love to get there and just kind of get one of my workout days out of the way so I'm wearing a sports bra from Lululemon you guys know I'm a little bit of 
a snob when it comes to my workout clothes now because I know how good they can be. So this bra is like a low impact one and I normally wear stuff like this because I'm not really running anymore because of my sciatica. So I do a lot of like circuit workouts or I'll do 12, 3, 30, but I've been doing a lot of circuits in the gym and then going for like long walks outside, which I've been loving. And then my leggings are from, these are the all access leggings from Bandier. These are comparable to my Lululemon ones. They are definitely my top, or they're in my top favorites. And I feel like it's Lululemon, um, Bandier, which is this collection, and Adenola. Those are like my top three brands that I've been shopping at and that I've actually been loving because I feel like it's been a long journey of me trying to find workout clothes that I like. And then my socks are actually from Summer Fridays. They have like little clouds on them that you guys probably can't see from there and then I'm wearing on cloud or I think it's just on the brand of sneakers but I have the cloud version so they're on clouds so yeah I'm excited to get a workout in I actually want to stop at Reformation I feel like I kind of you know did a terrible thing in buying that dress because now I just want to see like what else that they what else they have and I don't need to be spending money right now because I just placed a couple more orders that are coming in or I think there's only one left because I showed you guys the rumored one Reformation and there's a Jerf Avenue one coming so might be in this vlog depending depending on when it gets here I think it's supposed to be here tomorrow um, But yeah, we haven't been behaving lately when it comes to the bank account So I don't think I can really be buying stuff But I've also been selling a ton on Poshmark and kind of like clearing out my wardrobe So make sure you guys look through there I'm always either adding things or decreasing prices and today I did a huge price decrease on like 30 items or Basically every single item that's now listed is a lot cheaper and I'm always taking offers so you know feel free to shop in there too if you guys want to shop my wardrobe because there's just no way that I can keep everything all the time if that makes sense. So I'm constantly editing my wardrobe trying to be a minimalist and then that means I have a ton to list. So off on a tangent once again but I'm going to pack my tote bag and then we will head off to the gym and reformation maybe. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Last night I went to the gym and came home and had some chicken noodle soup and watched a renovation show on Netflix and then kind of just got myself prepared for today. Um, it's Monday and I'm going into the office, but we need to do a Trader Joe's run first. So I got up at 7, 7.15. Um, oh, I forgot to also say that I edited a vlog last night and did the thumbnail and the links and everything. But I needed to actually like copy and paste the links, so I did that this morning. And shout out to someone that DM'd me on Instagram and was like, um, I noticed you haven't posted a vlog in a while, and I was like honestly touched by that because you just kind of like I just always put out vlogs and videos and stuff and I kind of forget to stop and appreciate the fact that like people care and people want the uploads. So I skipped my Friday upload this week. Um just because I had a ton going on and a very busy weekend. So um, we have one up for today, then hoping to have my Princess Polly haul up on Wednesday, and then this vlog will go up on Friday. So we should be back on track. And there are a couple other videos that I want to film. I have one more package that's coming today, and then I'll do a new in my wardrobe. And then I have, what is the other one? Oh, I have like a surprise one and it kind of just came off of a question that someone asked on Instagram. So those two will be coming over the next couple of weeks in addition to the vlogs and everything. I think I'm going to vlog when I'm at home this weekend just to do like a little change of pace, like slow suburbs summer vlog. So that should be fun. But I am dressed and ready to go to Trader Joe's and my outfit's nothing special, but I am wearing this on the way hat from 112s. It's the only trucker hat that I own, but I'm actually getting pretty used to the shape of it. And then this sweatshirt is old from Rumored, when it used to be called Rumors. So um, they don't have this anymore, but they do have an airport sweatshirt, and I'll link that because it's like even better than what I'm wearing. It has a collar, it's a lighter gray, it's really cute. And then my leggings are actually my Aritzia jumpsuit. And I saw this in my drawer and thought this would be a really good like grocery run outfit to wear just because it's super easy to put on. 
and then I have aloe socks and New Balance sneakers. So we have like a cream and gray color combo going on here. So I'm gonna grab my little reusable bags and I'm hoping that they have peonies, like fingers crossed, because these are very, very dead and they kind of stink now. <laughs> so I cannot wait to change those out. I've been meaning to show you guys this brand. So it's Apothecary and they have like all natural um, body washes and, well, I did get face care and um, like body care and they sent over so many. I'm like, I am going to be set for soap over the next like year, I think. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. But they have like different scents. So this one is Cypress and Eucalyptus, Lavender and Spearmint, like honestly all my favorite things. Patchouli and Rose, that's probably amazing. This one I smell too. It's like their, um, I think this is their like wake up kind of scent. So I feel like this would be good for my boyfriend because he likes to shower in the morning and um, like the citrus aromas and everything like put you in a happy mood or something. Um, and then I have the bars version and then we have a little bit of like face care stuff. So there's an eye cream, a face lotion, and then a enzyme cleanser, which I'm excited to use because everything's like all natural. And then I also got in this little, um, suede protectant for my Veja sneakers. So I'm going to use this on them. And then I have another pair that I also want to spray too, just to kind of protect them from any like elements, just in case I get caught in the rain, which I actually might today. So I need to get my umbrella. And then the last thing is L'Occitane scent vervain, um, like their uh, sh shampoo, body wash and lotion. And this smells absolutely insane. I feel like this is a really good gift to get someone. Um, maybe not some of my age because I feel like we have so much more variation, but maybe for like your grandma or your mom or something like that. I feel like doing a duo like this is very like, you know, coordinated and it looks like you put a lot of thought into it. So yeah, those are just like the new and little products that I got and let's go to Trader Joe's. Just did a taste test of my at-home coffee. We did a little caramel iced latte with the double espresso Chiaro um, pod from Nespresso and it came out really, really good. And we also have some peonies, which look so nice. I don't know why I say peonies weird. Like peonies sounds weird, but peonies also sounds weird. But I think I like the second way better. <laughs> but I just love this color and I tried to pick ones that had a variation of ones that were like more open and ones that were closed so like when this one starts to open before the other ones I'll put this in the center and then have the other ones kind of go around it but it doesn't look too full right now because they're gonna open when they flower so um, yeah five of them for ten dollars at Trader Joe's and then just a little outfit of the day that I wanted to show you guys before I leave so I have my bag all packed and ready to go and this is what I'm wearing. My t-shirt I think is a little bit too big for this jacket, but we're just gonna leave it. Um, so this jacket I got from work. It's a little like Saint Laurent jacket that has cute little buttons on it. This is a size 40 and it starts at a 34. It's so small. It like just fits me. So I don't know if it was mistagged or something, but it's definitely tiny or maybe someone altered it. I'm not sure. Um, and then just a plain white t-shirt. My pants are Zara. They're like $45. Honey's barking to get into Amanda's room, so sorry if you guys can hear that. And then my Saint Laurent loafers. So, kind of doing an all black look. This is a little bit wintry, but it's always freezing in my office. I don't know why the lighting is so dark. Um, you can also see the huge breakout that I have on my forehead right now. But um, yeah, it's a little bit wintry, but it's only supposed to be around like 68 degrees today, so I feel like I can kind of get away with it. And if I get a little bit too warm, I could just take the jacket off when I'm on my way home because my office itself will be cold. So this is what I'm wearing for today. I'm gonna grab my coffee and a snack and then we're gonna head off to the office. Hi you guys, I'm not even sure. I think on Tuesday I left the vlog off and I've just been the worst ever since. I have one video that was waiting for approval to go live and I haven't heard back yet and I should have edited this vlog in between that and put this up first, but 
it just so happens that I think I'm gonna wait until I upload that and then this one will go up after just because in my head I have like continuity issues but I'm dressed in like a winter sweater because I was shooting this morning and was in like a full-on dress and I just wanted to put on something cozy but I do want to start off a whole new vlog because of the fact that this one has just been going on for too many days and I feel like having it like piece by piece like that can be a little bit confusing for me at least so I'm gonna show you guys a brand new purchase and then we're gonna end it off but we're ending it off with these really cute pajamas so this is a set that I got from Jerf Avenue was it overpriced I mean they're very very soft and for me the pattern is what sold me but yes these were a little bit more than I would want to spend on a pair of pajamas but to be honest I really don't switch out my pajamas often I feel like the ones that I get I love and I keep them for a very long time so I went with the shorts because I really like this idea of doing shorts with a long sleeve in the summer because even though it's like really really hot outside and you think you always want to be wearing shorts I have the air conditioning going in here when I'm not filming just because it gets pretty hot I mean that's the good thing about not having sunlight in here that's the only good thing about not having sunlight is that I don't really get a lot of sun and like heat into the room so I do have it on low most of the time but I just don't want to be chilly so I got the long sleeve top just to kind of balance it out a little bit still so that it's like cozy and like you know nice and long sleeve but this material is like buttery soft it's super light and I feel like it's going to be perfect with the shorts just so that I don't sweat and like my legs tend to get like hotter when I'm sleeping obviously because they're fully under the covers and this is getting way too detailed so um <laughs> these are the <laughs> Um, this is the pattern that I got. These are the summer berries. They also have another one that have like peaches on them But I didn't like one of the shapes that's on it So I ended up going with this pattern instead and I knew that I really wanted them because I signed up for the restock notification and I only do that for things that I'm like Really kind of obsessed with and the back of this has a cute little slit in it, too. So really nice I also have another pair that just got here from Zara but that's on my list of things to do for today is a Zara haul. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss that video or any of my upcoming ones. And in general, I would just love to have you on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Oh, you want to sign it off? Yes. We have a little work from home, buddy. And she's going to help me end off this video. And my battery is also flashing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. And I hope to see you in my next one. Say bye. <laughs>